Having all necessary safety gear, including a helmet and safety shoes, is essential before handling or unpacking bushings. To ensure correct shipment, cross-check the details like PO number, product description, and serial number of received bushing with the details on the delivery chillon. We pack all the bushings in high-quality pine wood boxes covered with HDPE tarpaulin sheet, making the packing water-resistant. Remove the tarpaulin by cutting the metallic strips, also store the tarpaulin for reuse when required, and open the box with the help of latches. Now inspect the rip bushing thoroughly, pull out the instruction manual, and follow the instructions for unpacking and handling the bushing further. Remove the fasteners, and handle the fasteners with care while removing them from the interior of the wooden enclosure. Take the accessories, which might be supplied separately inside the packing box, and retain them safely for later use. Our bushings are enclosed in a plastic bag with a high gauge thickness and desiccant materials to prevent moisture. Now gently remove the plastic bag, level the plastic cover, and smoothly cut the bag from the center to avoid damage to the silicon shed. It is advisable not to use any sharp tools for removing the cover, as they might damage the silicon sheds. Each bushing is equipped with a swivel eye bolt located on its head, which allows for easy lifting and removal from the packing box. Fix the eye bolts on the mounting flange as seen in the video. Attach the slings on the swivel eye and inside D shackles. Do not attach the slings directly onto the silicon sheds as it might severely damage the sheds. Attach the slings to the crane hook and lock the safety latch. Now start lifting the bushing, make sure to balance the bushing while lifting. Before resting the bushing horizontally, take out the protection pads and keep them on the floor at an adjacent angle leaving the appropriate space. Now slowly and gradually rest the bushing horizontally on the protection pads. Oil side of the rip bushing is provided with oil-filled protection tank to protect the oil end surface of the rip bushing from atmospheric humidity. Always, rest the bushing in a way, that the oil filling plug of the protection tank is straight upwards, and the oil drain plug and oil level plug are aligned to the vertical straight line. Do not rest the bushing on the floor, without the protection pads as it may permanently deform and damage the sheds. In the next video, we will learn about the, disassembling protection tank from rip bushing.